Hello again. The final mutation method we're going to look at is called scramble mutation. Um, the idea again is to have one input chromosome and to pick two elements at random and now what we do is we randomly rearrange the substring or the subset or the subarray between them. The idea is to scramble and randomize the subarray between them. By the way, the subset that we choose it doesn't have it doesn't have to be contiguous. So we can say, for example, let's say two, three, and seven, right? Elements there, and then we just try element there, element there, and element there, and we just randomize them, and then just change their order in a random way, right? But here, to make th to make things simple, we're going to assume that we are choosing a contiguous subset. So let's say that randomly we choose two numbers. Um, R1 is there, R2 is there, that's our subarray. Then we just randomize the elements and then uh, the resulting chromosome now looks like this, right? After applying um, a scramble mutation. Java code is quite simple. What we do is receive an integer array as we mentioned before. Then we just make a clone of it to keep uh, the parent unchanged, although we don't have to do that. And now I try to repeat the process five times, right? The randomization process, I try to repeat it five times. We choose two random numbers, R1, R2, between zero and the size of the array. Uh, notice that my method here called random number, it generates a random integer between zero and L minus one. So L is not included, is L is exclusive. And this while loop is just to repeat myself is to make sure that R1 is less than R2. So we keep, if R1 is larger than or equal R2, we keep looping and changing two random numbers between zero and uh, the size of the array until we manage to do that. So again, zero, a random number here will be between zero and L minus one. And then here I just loop 10 times, right? And now what I do is I choose two random numbers between R1 and R2 now, right? two random numbers between R1 and R2 now, and R1 and R2 are inclusive, this is why I say R2 plus 1, choose them and then swap the elements at those indices, right? I just do this uh, uh, 10 times, repeat this 10 times to make sure that something happens and we randomize the elements. So what that means is, let's say R1, R2, R2 there, and then we choose two numbers now between R1 and R2, let's say we choose 3 and 5, yeah, uh, not the index here is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so randomly choose 2 and 4, we just swap them, and then iterate again, and maybe randomly choose uh, element there, and element there, and, and swap them, and we keep repeating until, uh, you know, as many times as we want, really, and then we stop and return the new array or the new uh, chromosome, right? So, I'm going to stop here. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to present you the problem that we're going, we're going to solve via uh, uh, genetic algorithms, of course, permit for permutation representation, and hopefully things will make much more sense when you see it in action. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.